So what do we know in this data sufficiency question? The finance and the planning committees each had N members. The finance committee lost five and the planning committee lost three. So at the end of the year, the finance committee had N minus five and the planning committee had N minus three. They're asking us to find essentially the value of N. And I think I'm gonna start with statement two because it seems easier to evaluate. Statement two just gives us the actual number of people in the planning committee at the end. So it's giving us the value of N minus three and we're looking for the value of N. Can we find the value of N if we know the value of N minus three? Yeah, just add three. So statement two is sufficient on its own and we should go ahead and eliminate the answer choices that claim that it's not. So A, C, E are all gone and we're down to B or D. Let's evaluate statement one right after the intro. So statement one is talking about the total number of people who left the committees so that's five plus three is eight. And they're saying that that number, so eight, is one sixth of the total number of people at the beginning of the year, which would have been two n. So if two n is six times as much as eight, then n would be three times as much as eight. Can we solve for n? Yes. This statement is also sufficient on its own, and therefore the correct answer is D. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.